Deixa I mean, I think that take away from, you know, a lot of times that musicians are not just musicians, they're intellectuals because, you know, a lot of times we go on television shows and they just want us to just sing. The speaker box. Dish on. Dish on. What do you dish on? Um, you know, actors that we know and love that haven't had the, the platform. Oh, you may have quite a bit you can dish on. You, you backing up? <laughs> what are you expecting to get out of this? Um, I am excited about the project that uh, Avis is doing. Sit back, relax, enjoy yourself, and get ready. Dish. I'm excited to have you here. You're the most, I think I heard one of your label um, executives say, you're the quietest million records they ever sold. Hmm. I mean, what is, what is with your, your moderate ways and the way in which you just, easily go from one level to the next without anybody making a fuss over you. How does that work? I mean, I try to keep it simple. You know, I, like every time I write a song, every time I do anything, I always try and concentrate on, you know, somebody doing something positive in their life, somebody doing something great in their life, you know what I'm saying? Then that helped me do something great on stage or something great in the studio. Yeah. I did string a bell. My audience loved me for string a bell and they want to see me in that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep them with me and then, you know, in 2009, I'll see myself in a movie that is more, that speaks to that audience. What is this thing that has you with some kind of implied swagger? Is it the Stringer Bell thing, or did you bring that from London? Because you come from, a, you come from an, ur an urban community. I mean, is that, I mean, how did, you, mimic, you mimic pretty well, but you've shed that whole thing now, and but you still kind of got it. What, is it the DJing thing? What, what is it? It's Is my, it hip hop? It's my dad. It's your dad. <laughs> my dad's got swagger for for a whole army. And then when I saw Diary of a Mad Black Woman, I thought, how elegant. I thought it was uh, first. Uh, honestly, I was I was turned off by the title because I didn't understand. I was like, Diary of a Mad Black Mo Woman. What are we exploiting the, the pain and anger of black women in cinema now? What you know? What is this? And then I read it and I sort of understood it more and it wasn't until we sat down and he actually, we did a table read and he did Medea that I sort of got what he was doing and I said, okay, well let's, let's take this seriously. Let's elevate ourselves as high as we can and let's pretend that we're all trying to get the greatest awards and accolades in Hollywood and make the greatest film that's ever been made and let's go in with that attitude. And, and he totally was game and was on the same page.